Well guys, it's official and the numbers are in from last year. And I officially made around $600 every single day of the year last year in 2020 on average. And in today's video, you're gonna learn how you can go from zero to 600 per day and produce the same results for yourself. Girl, yes, bravo. <laughs> Now, as we officially go into the roaring 2020s, 2021, 2022, we leave behind 2020. Thank God. <laughs> Thank you. But what we don't leave behind, unfortunately, is COVID-19, the great pandemic of 2020, and all of these crazy things financially that happened to us in 2020 and we can't we can't deny it what 2020 taught us was that we can't rely no more on just a singular job just one stream of income and all of the financial threats to our bank account are still there i mean last year we saw businesses shut down we saw furloughs we saw hours being cut so many insane things that we thought that we'd never see happen so fast in such a short span of time and so we'll be going over online business, side hustles, ways to make money online, but now it's like the side hustle, or whatever you want to call it, is now in demand to become the main hustle. And so the idea of this video is that once you get the side hustle, make it your main hustle, and then once you have income generated from the main hustle that you choose, that's when you start to add another income stream and another income streams and create multiple income streams. And that's what we're gonna get into this video. And by the way, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. More on that just in a bit. Okay, so now let's talk about the first point that is going to help you get from zero to $600 a day in your business or online. And that is to think outside the box. And what does this really mean? This means you have to take action and do something different in your life than what you're doing right now. Because I assume if you keep doing what you're doing right now, you're not gonna get the results that you wanna get, right? That's probably why you clicked on this video and why you're here, um, to get some advice and what I'm gonna teach you today. So the point is, at this moment in time, I have about six-ish uh, income streams. And if you want me to make an in-depth video about what those are, go ahead and comment in the description, income video, and I'll make that video. But the point is, I did start with just one income stream online. I did start with just one and I built up to several, but I'm always trying to level up. They say that millionaires on average have about seven income streams on average. For example, in this coming year, my goal is to add an income stream like YouTube merch, which is a print on demand store, and add that to the YouTube channel and other income streams that I haven't had yet. I really plan to up my brand deal and sponsorship game because last year um, I didn't honestly make that much money doing it. I did make some, but not that much. And so there's other products and other things I wanna do, but the point is I started with one. And to do something different, you really have to commit to learning something new. And so this brings me to my next point. If you're gonna get outside of the box and do something different, get out of your comfort zone and learn something new, Skillshare is an amazing, amazing online community where you can go and take classes on all different types of topics, whether you're looking to sharpen a skill, whether you're wanting to learn a new skill to, let's say, create a side hustle or something like that. Think of Skillshare as like a digital library. It's got a plethora of classes and resources that you can learn from and get started today. So for example, let's say you want to start a blog, a website where you're creating your own SEO content. If you were to type in how to blog on Skillshare, there's so many different classes on there. Classes like the one by the creator, Teresa Christine, who has a class on blogging basics and how to get started. Really, just about any topic you want to discover and learn is on Skillshare. And so the first thousand people to click the link below and sign up will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. So go ahead and check that out. And so as I was mentioning about the blogging, I mean, blogging is for the long game, you know, kind of like building a YouTube channel, kind of like building anything, right? Um, it's something where you start off slow, you learn the skill, but eventually it could be an extremely lucrative opportunity because there's like 15 ways to monetize a blog and you're building like an online real estate. And so people 
don't have the patience to stick with something to um, you know put effort into something that takes months and months and months to build with little return so if you stick with it it really can be rewarding in blogs um, I know people that have blogs that make them ten thousand dollars a month up to fifty thousand dollars a month in passive income because they have so much traffic and people are buying different products and links off of their blogs and so the point is jot down a few things today that interest you and make a plan to just take that first step. Take that first step by learning more and understand what it takes to build up something and do something different and think outside of the box. Okay, so the number two action step for building up multiple streams of income and going from zero to 500 to $600 a day is to start investing small, okay? What I mean by this is your investment of money, your investment of time, your investment of energy, your investment of your heart and soul. Uh, you know, it's just, it's gonna take an investment of one of the things that I just mentioned or all of them, okay? And so there's different ways to invest. You can invest your time, um, which is free. It's not going to cost you anything, but it's going to take a lot of up work for example this YouTube channel when I first built it I you know was in a financial situation where I was in debt uh, I had like seventy thousand dollars worth of credit card debt I had bills to pay the savings was disappearing and I needed something to work fast I had no clue what I was doing but I started investing my time I invested you know 16 hours a day I was grinding I was working hard right but within 60 days of doing that and posting every single day on this channel, I started to create traffic, which then created sales to some affiliate products that I was promoting, and I could not believe it. I was like, wow, thank goodness I was asking the universe for a sign, and they gave it to me when I made uh, my first $33.50 sale on an affiliate product. And so the point is, you know, I struggled really hard with building this YouTube channel in the beginning, but I did it. I took action, I was outside of my comfort zone, and so I got something moving. I got something in the works. And by the way, I just made this video where I talked about how much YouTube paid me in 2020. You can click up here to watch that video. It's a really good video. And if you're interested in growing a YouTube channel that grows fast, right? Waves faster than mine did and that sells, okay? You can download my subscribers to sales blueprint, which goes over the six steps on how to build a wildly profitable channel. And you can check that out up here or the link in the description as well. And so on the flip side, if we're talking about money, investing with your money, let's say you have a couple thousand dollars to invest and you did just want to try investing into things like gold, like oil, um, the stock market. Maybe you want to invest in dividend paying stocks. Maybe you want to invest in real estate. Well, if you invest in real estate, you're going to need a couple you're gonna need more than just a couple thousand dollars, right? Um, maybe you want to invest in cryptocurrency. Maybe you've been interested in Robinhood and opening up a Robinhood account and building a portfolio of dividend paying stocks. Either way, you are going to have to put down money and take that risk to invest in what it is you're interested in because if you don't invest and put in the money you're never ever ever going to gain your own experience in doing it and you'll never figure it out on your own and so the mindset here is to think of this investment not as your loss but to think of it as an asset you know you're think of it as you know we traditionally think of going to college as education and a higher education um that's another story that <laughs> you know i can go on and on about that but that's the idea with taking these initial investments of time and money into something you want to explore more. If you don't dive into it, if you don't take some risk and invest something, you're never going to get the results you want. I mean, never, not gonna happen. And so there's so many, there's so many new things, for example, that cryptocurrency introduces and you know with the new blockchain technology i mean did you know for example there's a cryptocurrency savings account i think it's called BlockFi, um where yeah you it's a cryptocurrency savings account i'm not sure how it works but there's so much to explore nowadays and so if you're interested in building an investment portfolio that's something that's going to help create the multiple income streams it's more of a strategy where you're holding an investment and it's growing over time but the idea is all the same Okay, so action step number three to creating multiple streams of income is to create new habits, period. This is, you know, this kind of goes hand in hand with the first two of thinking outside the box 
and start investing small, but you have to create a habit. Why? Because the motivation to do something every single day is not going to be there. I mean, motivation, in my opinion, is kind of BS. Um, motivation is an, an excuse for us to use sometimes, like, oh, I don't have motivation to do something. Oh, this doesn't motivate me. Trust me, I'm not motivated every single hour and day of my life to get up in front of the camera and talk to my subscribers like, hey guys, like today I wanna make a video. Like, it's hard as a creator to get up here and make videos consistently. I mean, in 2020, I created 100 YouTube videos for the channel, 100 videos. That's insane. And so the point is with anything, with creating more money, with creating wealth, with losing weight, with having a better relationship and love life, the key really is creating habits. Okay, something that you are doing every single day, you don't really think about it, you just do and you incorporate it into your schedule. So for example, in the beginning, I did e-commerce. When I first got started online, e-commerce was my first business model that I ever did. I had a Shopify store and I had to learn everything from ground zero. I, I knew nothing. So what I had to learn was things like how to build a Shopify store, how to do the settings and optimization of the store, how to brand the store, how to find a name for the store, how to find hot products for my store in that niche that would sell. And then came the big, big task of Facebook ads. I mean, Shopify stores, they don't just make money on its own. They don't just magically generate traffic, right? You have to get traffic to your store, whether that's by SEO, which takes a long, long time, or with Facebook ads or another type of paid advertising. Um, I know YouTube ads for e-commerce stores are getting more and more popular, but when I did it, um, I used Facebook ads and that in itself is a huge, it's a huge um, learning curve. It's, it's huge and so all that and even, um, so when people would buy from my store, I would have to hire a VA to help me with the customer support, the fulfillment and all of that. And so it was, it was a lot. There was a lot, a lot of new habits that I had to create, but um, every single day I got better and better and I you know streamlined the work and e-commerce, yeah, I don't do it anymore because honestly, it just wasn't my passion. I got burnt out. I was kind of tired of you know Facebook ads and it was just, I, Facebook ads were getting more and more expensive. So I quit and I sold my stores and I went in a new direction of building my personal brand. And so I tell people that want to start e-commerce, I say, you know, if you're looking to start e-commerce, I would go the Etsy route because with Etsy, unlike Shopify store, they have millions of people on Etsy constantly looking in their search engine for things. So I know um, a girl who has her Etsy store and she generated, I think, $42,000 with her Etsy store last year selling custom designs. So she would create the designs and fulfill the orders herself and um, is really impressive what she was able to do with her Etsy store. So she has like logos, graphics, um, custom pictures and stuff. And people say, hey, I like that design. Can you modify it a little bit? So they order and she does the fulfillment of the designs. But um, you know, it's, some, it's a new habit that she had to create when she first got started with her Etsy store and the learning curve and stuff like that. So I guess one of the points is there's so many business models out there from e-commerce to coaching to creating your own digital products to affiliate marketing. And one super exciting thing is that our marketing director here at Team Marissa Romero, her name is Angelique Stidham, she just released a YouTube channel to help you guys with so many cool new things about marketing and things that I don't really go too much in depth with in this channel. And she just created a video about three businesses that are going to blow up and make you a lot of money this year. So why don't you click the link right here to check out that video. And I'll also have it in the description below. I'm confident you are going to learn so much from Angelique's channel. All right, so the fourth action step that we're talking about today is to create your own brand now. When I went from e-commerce to creating my own brand, Mar the Marissa Romero brand that you're seeing right now, so I'm creating my audience on YouTube, I've created my audience on Instagram, which if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Marissa E. Romero. And um, the point is I've built up my audience. So I've built up, you know, I have 5 million views um, collectively on the YouTube channel and I've been teaching, I've been giving value on things that I'm good at doing. I'm really good at video marketing. I'm really good at YouTube SEO. I'm really good at helping you using whatever knowledge you have and positioning that 
on the internet to help people and to create your own products and services. And so just think about a brand that you can create. It could be a personal brand, it could be like a company brand. A really cool example is a friend that I have. She's Canadian and she lives in Peru because she's doing her master's degree in Peru in uh, archeology span and her name is Dawn. And it's really cool because Dawn worked for, or still works for Palfish, which is the online tutoring website where you can teach English to uh, Chinese students. And so that was her side hustle, right? So she was creating, you know, really a full-time income working on Palfish, which she was able to, you know, create her own hours and tutor the kids on her own schedule. And so it was really fun to see because she was basically able to fund all of her fixed costs, her living expenses, and her tuition by working with Palfish. And so she was able to work, go to school, and still have free time. It was really impressive. But she got really good at Palfish and she got she's very like she's a teacher that's very in demand on the application. But she noticed something. She noticed a demand in the market when she was working on Palfish that many people were struggling with saying certain things in English. And so she started her own brand called Enhanced Education, which helps um, Spanish speakers and really anyone who doesn't speak English natively help them um, have a better accent in English. So she gives grammatical lessons. It's really, really cool. And she's built up her audience on Instagram and does plan to create a YouTube channel around it. But she's then turned that brand into a business. And so it's been awesome to see her grow because not too long ago she had zero following with this new brand. And now I think she has a few thousand followers on Instagram and people are taking more and more interest in the paid workshops and the other services that she's offering. And so as I mentioned, it's really hard sometimes when you're building this brand to, to stick with it because it, it can be six to 12 months of putting in a lot of work and seeing little return, but you will see the return if you just keep on going. And so the cycle of you know positioning yourself as an expert, creating your own brand, all of these things is really, really simple. Um, to monetize, you can be a role model expert where you're just teaching what you know. You're teaching things that you pick up along your journey because if you know something that somebody else doesn't and you're able to teach them, in their eyes, you're the expert and that's a really powerful thing because as I mentioned, if you're teaching and giving value on social media, then you will start to build your audience and then you can start to monetize that audience with offering something. And so the idea is when you offer something, that product's gotta be good. Whether it's coaching, whether it's a course, that thing, whatever it is, has to get people results because when people get results, then they'll adore you and they'll recommend you and you can get testimonials and you can share those results and those results will then help you get more results, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so the next thing, the fifth action step when we're talking about creating multiple streams of income is to take your brand to the next level. So how are you going to take your brand and expand it? This is how you do create the multiple income streams because uh, for example, with my brand, by having the social media channels and making my audience bigger. So think about how you'll grow the brand. Like, are you going to do SEO traffic? Are you gonna have a blog for it? Are you gonna have a YouTube channel for it? Maybe you're interested in growing a TikTok account for that specific brand. How can you start creating passive income for that brand right away? There's always something, there's some type of knowledge that you're giving away that you can package up into a digital course and make it a passive income stream. Whether you start to sell a digital product for $20 or for $200, whenever you create something, the only upfront work is creating the product. And then after that, every sale you make is passive and you don't need to recreate a product and create all the funnels and everything every single time, you just drive traffic to it, which is where your audience comes into play. Because once you have an audience, you can sell any product that you put in front of your audience. And so let me give you an example of my former students and dear friends, Carmen and Darius. They have a channel called Wealth Nation and their story is pretty incredible. So they are insurance agents. They, they sell whole life insurance policies. And in the beginning, they were struggling with getting clients. I mean, they were using Instagram ads to drive traffic to try to get clients on their calendar. And so I suggested to them, why don't you know, uh, you build a YouTube channel, I can walk you through it. And I think it's a way better option than Instagram ads. So it's an incredible story because they started their YouTube channel and with only like 700-ish subscribers, they were able to achieve 
financial freedom because they had their calendar full of clients. They didn't need to worry about where their next client was coming from. So they were able to create that revenue consistently and scale up the insurance business with their clients. Not only that, they were able to become location independent, so they didn't have to live in Arizona anymore. They then decided to move to the Dominican Republic and started to travel because they have that flexibility now of being able to work from wherever they wanted. And so they eventually reached a cap in their business where they couldn't take on any more clients because they're, they're only two people, they can only take on so many clients. So then they started to transition their business to creating digital products and scaling up the business that way and creating and adding multiple and passive income streams. So you kind of see the trend here on how somebody can start a brand, whether you have an offer, a service, a product or not, there's always ways to keep adding another income stream and to keep multiplying and keep growing. Oh yeah, you're still here. That is amazing. I wanna congratulate you, give you a pat on the back, and since you're still here, why don't we keep learning and growing together and watch this next video about 17 websites. Not kidding. I think there's more than that. That can make you $300 a day if you're willing to put in some elbow grease. That video is up next. Go ahead and click right here. See you on that video. Whether you're living la vida loca, traveling all around the world, playing in the water, playing in the waves, or whether you're stuck at home in quarantine, wanting to make an 